Back here in Michigan, meanwhile, a gun reform bill has been making its way through the legislature. Jacqueline Francis is talking with lawmakers driving this change and joins us live with a look at where things stand. Jacqueline. Kimberly and Devin, two of the three gun safety bills have already made their way to the governor's desk and are just awaiting her signature. The third, having to do with red flag laws, isn't quite there yet and is temporarily on pause while the legislature is on spring break. As the nation graves the tragedy in Nashville, Democratic lawmakers in Michigan are pointing to progress made in Lansing. Doing nothing is no longer acceptable. Before leaving for a two-week spring break, the Michigan legislature made major headway on passing gun safety laws. The bill package includes safe storage, expanding background checks, and red flag laws. Senator Mallory McMorrow says the first two are as good as done, just awaiting the governor's signature. But the third, having to do with red flag laws, will require more action from the legislature once they return from break on April 11th. Red flag laws would allow family members and mental health professionals to petition the court to temporarily bar someone from owning or purchasing a firearm. We've seen that red flag laws are only as successful as there is buy off from law enforcement agencies and awareness about how to use them. So we're just going through to make sure every detail is right before we pass the final version. Republicans have opposed the bill arguing they would not have stopped the MSU shooter. Republican Senator Mike Weber said this on March 16th. I fear the bills before us make a lot of promises, but will ultimately fall short of reducing gun violence in our state. McMorrow says red flag laws would have stopped the Nashville shooter. We know that the shooter had family members who knew that there was an issue, who knew that they were struggling with mental health issues, who could have filed or an extreme risk protection order to ensure that they did not have firearms. We reached out to Republicans for current comment today. No one was available. As we've mentioned, the legislature is on break. Reporting live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline.